I've learned a lot over the four decades of health and fitness and being in the trenches with the greatest in the world. And one of those things I've learned a lot more about and how to build better muscle is nutrition and how it has changed over the decades. And that's why I have the Titan meal plan for you guys out there that are confused about nutrition. I'm going to set you straight. Get a hold of me today. The link will be in the comments down below for you guys. Everybody, get over to the Titan Meal Plan, and I'll see you in the Titan Crew, where I will fine-tune any difficulties that you're having. Hey, guys. Welcome to the Mike O'Hearn Show. I am beyond honored and um, privileged to call these next two dear friends and have been for a long time. Max Martini, who is a celebrity and a superstar actor. I've got to film with him before in uh, the Manson Brothers, and we are back at it again doing a project called Blue Ridge. Um, he's a great guy, and you're going to get into depth about his uh, journey through the health and fitness world. No, absolutely not. This is the struggles of the acting world and what he's been able to do with keeping health and fitness involved in his lifestyle. And then my friend of over 30 years, Jonathan Sheck, uh, again, an incredible actor, an incredible friend for three decades, and we're still boys, and I am honored to say uh, that touches my heart knowing that I've been on this journey watching him grow into the icon that he is, uh, especially to me, to see this and sit down with these guys. And again, this is coming from the set of Blue Ridge, uh, Jonathan Sheck's new show, um, and yeah, we got to get on there and do some fight scenes and kick some ass. But more than anything else, guys, really watch this one closely because you got two guys that have been living their passion. And it's not easy, but it's their passion. And so that's how they stayed true to their craft. Welcome to the show. This is the Mike O'Hearn Show. Let's get this party rocking. That's <laughs> Martini. Woo! Jonathan Sheck. And where are we right now? Uh, we are on the set of uh, Blue Ridge, Jonathan's uh, show, <laughs> sitting with the star of Blue Ridge. I love it. Uh, we're in, uh, I guess, uh, North Carolina. We're in Charlotte, North Carolina. And you, uh, you did this as a movie, and it was such a success that they turned it into now a TV series. Yeah. And you're at a position and uh, you're at a position where you got to um, put some requests in. I know. I got to, to got to get these these guys here, which was amazing. And we're really grateful to have the both of them here. So I I got to sit down with the other EPs, the other executive producers, and discuss the cast. And <laughs> I got these guys on here. I don't know how. <laughs> pretty awesome it's amazing this is this is our second uh show together and our second, second show together, together although i directed mike in uh the manson brothers midnight zombie massacre which you can go watch on amazon amazon, yeah, yeah, amazon. Yeah, amazon. So, and you can also watch blue ridge on uh amazon prime as well um that being said you guys have been in the business for a moment just a moment or two um Ups and downs? Always. It goes like a wheel. It goes down with your career, you come back up with your career. You start to go with your career, it's at the bottom, you think it's over, and then it goes back up every single time. <laughs> what was on the, because I, I think it's more important than say, everybody's great when everything's great. Life's, oh, I'm good, I'm working, I got the job, whatever that is, the money's coming in. But what kept you guys moving? When the job wasn't there, maybe you weren't happy with everything, um, and it was like that moment of going, wait a minute, should I try to do something else? Was there ever those moments? I had that moment, and this guy right here picked me up. He got me back into business. He literally he told me what Was to it do. a phone call? Was yeah, it a, was what it, was it? How started, did he reach out? Who reached out? We just started hanging out, and he started telling me, like, you know, you do this, you do this. Teach me how to do the, uh, what are the self tapes, where to go. <laughs> yeah, how to up your game. How to, how you know. to uh, get a reel. He showed me how to do a reel. <laughs> <laughs> All this stuff I had no but idea. There's a, there's a difference between doing an actor's reel that you know, and, and a sales reel, right? So like, the, the thing that people forget about this business is that 
uh, you know, look, ultimately, when they're looking for somebody, they're not going to sit through 12 minutes of, of your greatest moments, right? They just want to see what you can do. So you're selling them on your ability as an actor, as an artist, right? So you have to design these tapes and, and uh, you know, so that, so that it's a quick sell. Yes, that's our guy. Bring him in. Let's have a meeting. I mean, I, it was one of the things like that, that I think really helped me was when I finally kind of gave in to the idea that, you know, yes, I'm an artist. Yes, okay, I, you know, I, I've studied and you know, I did all the actor exercises, wind in the tree, whatever it is, <laughs> yeah. you know. All that. But you know, at the end of the day, it's a business, right? These guys are investing, you know, millions of dollars into their. They project. just want to know if you can sell a movie. That's all they want is a return on their investment. So you how know, do you they, separate that? Because you're you guys are artists. So how do you go? I love me here in this piece, and that is that's that's why I do acting. Compared to, you already know that they're gonna go. Eh, can you sell it? And so that's the difference you're talking about. You can do a theatrical reel that's 12 minutes long of yeah. my best pieces, yeah. or you can sell it going, I'm a superstar. Don't worry, put your money into this. I think you have to early on decide where you belong business you know what I mean and, and if you if you're in the business and you want to work and make money then you go okay this is my frame this is what where I shine right these are the kinds of roles that I'm that they're gonna obviously you know that they, they, they come to me easily more easily and uh, and you put together a sales reel that sells you in those roles you know and then you can pepper in little moments where you know you, you think hey this is a great actor moment but you know, for the most part, it's like the, here, the agents—they don't. Nobody likes to work, right? They want to. Yeah. <laughs> Risky saying that, but, but you know, but they—they they want to be able to rep you, and it be easy. So you know, it's like it's it, you know, it, guys like I'm not going to play an account, right? So you're not going to see me doing numbers on my demo reel. You're going to see me kicking ass, right? So, and if you want to be an action star, then you put that one together, you know. But it's uh, it's uh, it's important to know where you belong. Jump back for a sec. Um, so, you guys start hanging, and it starts to pull you out. That one of the, I always talk about, like, is uh, try to find those friends that uh, aren't at the same level. Maybe they're they're stepped up, and you got to raise to them, or they'll help you up relative to hanging out to everybody that's pulling you down. So it seems like Max is one of those guys that pulled you up and pulled out. Me up. He was there in every way that really helped me understand the business as well as what how I didn't know all these things. I was in the business for just such a long time. He kind of like he kept looking at me like sideways, like, yeah, I got two dope things. He'd be like, you gotta do this. And I did it. And one reason I had this this uh, series right now is because of all the things that I did right <laughs> after that. That's how I learned. I learned every single day for really help. It's crazy because I'm in the fitness world and, and I continue to learn. I've learned more in the last 10 years than I ever did. And I won Mr. Universe by 20. And it's like, and so I'm just looking at you going, that thing you do, you were so young at that time. So I could see somebody looking at you going, but you were working with Tom Hanks. You were doing this, all these projects and stuff. How did you not know that stuff? But you kept learning and learning and learning and there's so many yeah i didn't understand any of the, the business not the business side or the hollywood side and i you know i i didn't, I didn't was know it easy that. for you to get like coming in no it was it was was hard. it a struggle getting in yeah it yeah. was hard it was difficult i kind of got hurt by fire you know? yeah and then uh when hanks came around it was it made it easier but i still wasn't i wasn't functioning at like a authentic level you know? um, so that, that was hard but I was as a craftsman as an artist I was excelling I was in chaos you know I didn't know who I was I didn't know that part of the, the business that I needed to put myself in I didn't know what that was it's was kind of like floating and waiting for the next person to hire me really and they did they kept hiring me <laughs> you're like well I'm like play Houdini I'll play you know whatever which I loved that was that was so raw that was so raw. With Max, when you got into it, was it easy? Uh, it was easy getting in. Um, the slumps, 
is where you, your skin gets thicker, you know. And it's, uh, but you know, the thing that I that I learned about myself in this business because of the slums is like how determined I was to not get where I wanted to be. And I'm still not where I want to be. That's the other thing I've realized is that you're never where you want to be, right? So it's the whole, the whole world is a slump in a, in a certain, you know, manner. But the, the, but it, it definitely uh, fueled me to keep going. That's why, and I think like you and I have gone through a lot of these moments together where it's like, you know, you just, you go through it. You, there's no way to gauge how much you're going to work, right? So you, inevitably, you're going to have a lot of downtime. It's great when you're working, you save your money and, and you go through the downtime. If you don't, it's difficult. But, you know, uh, we've pulled each other through a lot of this stuff, man. I mean, I know, uh, you know, look, even I've worked with some huge stars, as have you, and, and, and even those guys have uh, considerable obstacles emotionally, internally, you know, to overcome because, I don't know, they're not where they went. If you are confused about training, do not worry. That's what the Titan training plan is for. For you guys to subscribe to this plan, you also get the additional coaching from me in the Titan private group. Get in there today, and I cannot wait to start working with you and making your dreams come true. Let's get back to the show. Don't you think that that's, that's the, the misconception? If they see you in the magazines, like, you know, my start of the career, everything is golden for you. Yeah. Your life is great. Yeah. You got a TV series. You're, you're rocking and rolling as always. Yeah. So you guys are fine. You don't have any down stuff. You never get sad or anything like that. And that's such a misconception. Yeah, totally. And it, it's, 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 it's people don't see the that. biggest stars yeah. are, are, are that way. Um, it's just, uh, it's amazing being able to still be here today just to sit down with you guys and to do something like this because it's still surreal that I've known you since early 90s, 90, you know, 33 years, and it's like, holy sheesh, this society is so cool. And then we've known each other for a while now, and you you meet those guys that, that just continue that road with you. What is that, the friendship, that, that going through battles together, working and helping each other to raise? Because it was easy for you. It was easy for me to get into Hollywood because it was athletics and, and fighting. So go gladiators. I was, I won the universe. I was on the cover of the magazines. I got gladiators. Easy. I'm in. But it was it was those early struggles in my twenties that set me up to go. Oh, stay calm. Stay calm when everything's great. Don't get hyped up and don't yeah. get that attitude. Yeah. Yeah. Stay freaking calm because yeah. it's gonna it's gonna drop. Yeah. And so I learned that early, and I think that was the one thing that helped me stay in the health and fitness for so long. It's stay calm yeah. and stay humble. Stay humble, humble guy. Is is honest it's, to God. It's not it's a the, young man's thing though when they're when they're killing it. Yeah. How do you how do you tell them? Well, here's well, uh, I'll give you an example. So I, this is this. Uh, if you're casting a show, and you say let's say I'm directing a movie, and there's you know. I've narrowed it down to four or five guys that are great for the part, right? Ultimately, at the, at the end of the day, it's going to boil down to who do I want to work with? Who do I want to spend six months on set with? Who do I want to spend a series with, right? And you want to spend time and have beers or whatever, you know, uh, with the guy that is the most humble and the most endearing and the most, you know, enjoyable. Right. So, so that's key because the guys that get the Hollywood disease, I call it, uh, you know, and whose egos just inflate, are the ones that generally burn out. Some of them get through get through the cracks, and, and I've had a couple run-ins with some guys, but you know, but uh, but yeah, it, it, what I find is usually at the top, and you can tell me if this is your experience too. But it, the guys up at that level are great. What is that? What it, it, It's the fight to get there it makes a lot of people ugly. And then when you get to that level to where you're doing stuff or you've gone through that darkness, you become such a free. You become free of, because like you call it the Hollywood, I call it um, believing your own hype. 
you know, the magazines and newspapers and everything is going to put stuff out about how great you are. And when you start really believing you can do no wrong, that's setting you up to fail. And I see that in the health and fitness world. I see, like I talk about, I see the next great Arnold every year since I first got to Bowles. Wow, this kid's good looking. He's got a personality. He's got the physique. He can do anything and everything. And within a year, they're burnt out because they fall into that, yeah. that darkness no. and they don't come out of it. That's the problem. And so it's like going through those battles with good friendships and helping you. Yeah. Or yeah. is it yeah. almost going, I know the downsides, if I can manage those, we're good. Compared to everybody going, oh, I got to manage the big stuff. Does that make sense to you? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Do you, is it, because it seems like this is going to take care of itself. But you to get here was everything. Yes, I, I I give over something greater to me. Every everything, so it's all it's all bigger than me. And I just keep working hard and keep putting things forward. Do try to do the best work possible. Bring the best product, the best scene, best moment, and make it come alive. What gets you there? The family, the walk behind. Yeah, yes. that gets me there now. But also, <laughs> like, like looking, this. looking up to friendships, that, you know, people that inspire you and you know raise you up. You guys are definitely those two guys. <laughs> I got them here on the set with me. How about that? But you know, you're you're actually. It's been amazing to watch your your career change because now you are the uh, rising star in, in acting. You got two really good films that were just in Sundance. You're just on nine one one. Um, I'm lucky to have you here. Um, as you know, as you got a really good role. Really good part. That, you guys are gonna love this. Yeah. Um, it was. It's it's the funny thing. I think it was. Uh, you were never Robert taken. Williams yeah. said it. He said, "Yeah, I'm an overnight success. 25 years." Yeah, exactly. And it's like, i If you didn't know, I, I my first movie was Death Becomes You with Bruce Willis, Goldie Hawn, and Meryl Streep in 1990. Wow. And I've been trying to be an actor since then. Wow. And so. The health and fitness world found out about me in 1987, and it was easy for me. Went teenage, you know, do teenage nationals, win the universe, and all that stuff. Power lift, and all that stuff was incredible. But I never got really anything except athletic shows. Right. And so, not until my 40s did I start getting like soaps, which I don't know, you know, but but guest starring roles on Sunny in Philadelphia or Workaholics, and funny stuff. And then the last couple of years. It was that I'm okay struggling to get there. I love it. So I never gave up. And they don't take me serious. So it's kind of cool to see two movies of Sundance and stuff. Yeah, I know. It's really neat. But how do I explain that to them? That I didn't just start because that's what they're doing. They're going, oh, you have, you're have you starting to act now. It, it, Magazine Dreams is great. He's <laughs> Jonathan. No, I've been trying been for 33 years. Yeah, I just, yeah. I wasn't there. Yeah, you wasn't So how do you there. say that? The world wasn't ready for you. The national consciousness was alive. That's 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 it. It's like I, I I think you you know if you if you have something that that you know is of value, right? Whether it's like you know your life experience or whatever, whatever you know you use to translate through the camera on the film. If you uh, if it's valuable. It, then you belong in this business. Then you have a place in this business, right? And it'll find you, but it's not gonna find you on day one. You know, it's not gonna, or if it does, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna drop in. in How, yeah. right? Yeah. When it's easy, eh, they, don't, they don't take it. Yeah. They, or or it's, just, it's just much too easy. And then they get, they get the, 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 as soon as the first hurdle starts, in health and fitness, you guys will understand this, real simple. You don't win your show, and, and you get off stage. You're like, I took, I took fifth. I took whatever it is in the competition. Most people stop. They didn't win it. It has nothing about the show. It they has, quit. It, yeah, they quit. Yeah. It's like it has nothing to do about the show. It's gonna start We're gonna have to stop oh, the show. Right. <laughs> so yeah. wow, it doesn't have to do with the show. It's your best performance on that moment. It should be. I never walked off the stage and said, I walked off the stage, won the universe, yeah. walked off the stage, one of the judges goes, if you put 20 pounds on you, go to the Olympia. And I go, oh, thank you, thank you, all right. And I start walking away going, hell no. That's not what I wanted. The craft that I wanted was something completely different. And so that's why I never stopped lifting or eating like I do, because I like the art piece I created. 
Yeah. And you guys like the act no matter if you started in 1990 or you still going today. That's hard to tell kids, though, that it has to be you. It can't be the money. No. The fame. Because that's going to... It's got to be you. It's got to be you. It's got to be you. And, and look, you know, I get, I'm sure you do, I'm sure you do get a lot of young aspiring actors asking for advice. And I always say, don't act. Trust. Just communicate. Trust. It's like, it's like going to a movie and you see somebody that's pushing too hard. It takes you out of the film. You want to leave the theater. You don't even want to watch it, right? So when my career, when when big directors started responding to my auditions, it was when I went in and did the least amount of work. And I, it was, but you make interesting choices, but you don't try to hit a home run every time you have a meeting with somebody or an audition tape or an audition in person. Although they don't do that much anymore. It's like, you know, just keep it simple, listen, respond, and trust that there's something happening, you know, and, and, and I think that's, I think you get, you'll go a long way just based on those notations. I love it. All right, Max Martini, Jonathan Sheck on the set of Blue Ridge. Love you, boys. Man, this is so surreal for me to be here with you guys. So grateful to have you both here. Can't even tell you. So, we just got into a tiff on yeah, set. I get to watch it. Yeah. I get to my He's about to, to kick it. my ass. <laughs> um, that's it. We will see you next time, guys. Michael Hearn Show. Like I said, two incredible humans. Again, I'm proud to call them friends. Um, and they're great actors and, and good, good people. And I, I know that you guys could pick that up from just watching my stories and feeds and watching this episode of the Mike O'Hearn show with them on here. And that we have this bond that we've gone through these trials of life that knock you down, um, but come out the other side and keep living the passion. I'm glad you guys like the show. Please comment below. Let me know who you would like to see next. And uh, I am looking forward to next week's show. We have another special guest. Have a great day. Thanks again, Generation Iron, for having me on. Talk to you later.